How are you? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, yes? yeah, just you a bit of a cough. Oh, good. Yeah. Would you want to do that again? Uh, so what, Wait, an encore? An encore, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I might do, and then uh, the encore right. might come sporadically. So. <laughs> well, I enjoyed you in Captain Fantastic. Oh, that you. was a wonderful film. <laughs> and when they put you on a plane at the end to go, where was it, Europe or someplace you were going? No, he's put his finger on a map. I'm just remembering it. It's somewhere in Africa, I believe. Oh, okay. that's right, that's right. Yeah. I always wanted a sequel to that film to find out what happened to you. Because yeah. you made the biggest leap from the woods to the world. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, it was, it was, it's a coming-of-age story for, for Bo. I, 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 I think he would have had a wonderful time. I always, like, I love the advice that his father gives him at the end of, at the, end of the, you know, the film and in the, the scene at the airport. So I think he would have come back a, a more well-rounded man. You know, he, he's an open... He's opened up through the, the, the making of the film, or through the, the, the story. So I think he would have met whatever he met with a, with an open mind and open heart and, and would have benefited from and, it. And quite a few skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was well placed to, to yeah. go off into the world and yeah, discover himself. That to me was the best ending. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. really was. And now, here we are, fast forward with you in 1917. What a hugely different film. However, you did Defiance prior to that, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was also a war film, I believe. That was the first yeah. World War. That was about the part the Bielski Partisan Army. And it was actually the script supervisor on that film, Jane Ann Sengren, is now actually the producer of 1917. Oh, is that right? Yeah, so it's a lovely bit of uh, a, a through line there, you know, to, to see Jane Ann. But um, yeah, it's it's wonderful. I mean, it's a, it's it's a different context, but but it's just it's, it's such a privilege to be part of those films. Now, 1917 seems like it's all one long continuous shot. Yeah. How did they do that? I mean, did you guys just always start where you left off? How? Well, it's it's one continuous shot. You mean <laughs> it really was? No, no, it's, yeah. it's a series of shots. Uh, knitted together um, but we rehearsed for six months beforehand because oh. to choreograph the entire oh, film sure. oh because obviously like without an edit you have to decide upon the emotional rhythm of the whole f film beforehand and the emotional rhythm of the scene when you're on the move and the camera doesn't cut dictates the length and size of the set so everything had to be planned out from the beginning so we began six months before shooting on empty fields working through these scenes to get the most like the right emotional rhythm and then marking, okay, right, that's where the corner needs to be, and then that would then be built, you know, built from there. So we we sort of work the film out from scratch. That's remarkable. There's not a single edit in that film. Oh no, there there is. Later. There is. There's a couple so of hidden edits. Yeah. Hidden edits. But you'll be, yeah, I think you'll be hard pushed to find them. Oh my gosh, that's remarkable. Yeah. And congratulations, you thank did you. a wonderful job in that oh, film. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very, very my much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.